Welcome to the candidate forum for District 225 School Board, which covers Glenbrook South and Glenbrook North High Schools. I'm Susan Swearingen, the president of the League of Women Voters of Glenview Glencoe, which is a sponsor of this forum. The League of Women Voters is a nonpartisan political organization. We do not support or oppose candidates or political parties. The League takes action on governmental issues for which positions have been adopted through extensive member study and agreement. The League encourages informed and active participation in government, works to in increase understanding of major public policy issues, and seeks to influence public policy through education and advocacy. The League is hosting this forum because we believe that while voting itself is important, an informed vote is ideal. As Thomas Jefferson once said, an educated citizenry is a vital requisite for our survival as a free people. Providing this forum allows citizens to become better informed about the issues facing our community and better acquainted with the candidates running for office who once elected will be responsible for addressing those issues. I'd like to welcome the candidates for this forum. Participating today are Bruce Doughty, Peter Glowacki, David Hochberg, Matt O'Hara, and Michelle Seguin. Another five candidates were invited but declined to participate. They are Albert Herbst III, Paul Kelly, Sonia Kim, Maylin Nafke, and Carol Schmidt. These 10 candidates are running for four open positions. Some candidates are also running on a slate. Voters are reminded that they will vote for individuals on the ballot, not slates, and that they may select any four of the 10 candidates on election day. Thank you to our participating candidates. Your willingness to share your thoughts and positions on the concerns of the voters in District 225 will help them make an informed choice when they cast their ballots in the upcoming election. Before we begin, let's review some key dates, uh, upcoming dates for the April 6th election. March 10th is the first day of early voting at courthouses. March 22nd is the first day of early voting at community locations like the Northbrook and Glenview Village Halls. April 5th is the last day of early voting. April 6th, of course, is election day. With almost a month to vote in person and the option to vote by mail, there's practically no excuse for not voting this spring. Please don't miss the opportunity to exercise your right. I also want to make you aware of a powerful tool provided by the League of Women Voters of Illinois. The Illinois Voter Guide it is a 100% nonpartisan portal for all election information. With this tool, voters can check your registration status, register to vote online, apply for a mail-in ballot, or find your polling place location. The guide also includes comprehensive information for all of the candidates on the ballot this election. It can be found at illinoisvoterguide.org. Let's briefly review the ground rules which have been agreed to by the participating candidates. Due to the size of the candidate field, a typical forum format was not practical. The candidates will instead provide answers to questions in an individual interview style format. Candidates will deliver two minute opening statements. Questions have been selected by the league and the moderator, including from those submitted, submitted by District 225 residents. The moderator may ask a follow-up question at her discretion. Each question will be directed to all the candidates in their respective interviews. Candidates will be given up to 90 seconds to respond to a question. Statements and responses will be timed and countdown cards will be visible to candidates and viewers. Finally, I'd like to introduce our moderator. Karen Rebar is a member of the League of Women Voters of the Arlington Heights area. She is the former president and currently vice president of the League of Women Voters of Cook County. Karen's league interests are in government ethics, criminal justice, and the budget process and, and transparency within the Cook County Board of Commissioners. Prior to COVID, Karen has, Karen has moderated live candidate forums throughout Cook, Lake, and McHenry counties. She is pleased that Zoom has provided a method for the league to continue these forums. And with that, let's begin. <laughs> 